forced you to reconsider any of the policies with regard to the region? a civil society, and order must prevail. Throughout our history, we've often faced moments like this because we are a big, diverse, free-thinking, and freedom-loving nation. There should be no place on any campus, no place in America, for anti-Semitism or threats of violence against Jewish students. There is no place for hate speech or violence of any kind, whether it's anti-Semitism, Islamophobia, or discrimination against Arab Americans or Palestinian Americans. It's simply wrong. There's no place for racism in America. We've all seen the images, and they put to the test two fundamental American principles. Excuse me. <clears throat> the first is the right to free speech and for people to peacefully assemble and make their voices heard. The second is the rule of law. Both must be upheld. We are not an authoritarian nation where we silence people or squash dissent. The American people are heard. In fact, peaceful protest is in the best tradition of how Americans respond to consequential issues. Violent protest is not protected. Peaceful protest is. It's against the law when violence occurs. Destroying property is not a peaceful protest. It's against the law. Vandalism, trespassing, breaking windows, shutting down campuses, forcing the cancellation of classes and graduations. None of this is a peaceful protest. Threatening people, intimidating people, instilling fear in people is not peaceful protest. It's against the law. Thank you very much. Mr. President, have the protests forced you to reconsider any of the policies with regard to the region? No. Thank Mr. you. Mr. President, do you think the National Guard should General? intervene? No. Mr. President, do you agree everyone is calling for? Mr. President, the former president said that he would.